I'm going to do an exercise for Siamese Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. You can use any American Mahjong card. There's even a special Siamese Mahjong card that's been designed for two players playing two hands at one time. Look for a link in the video description below. In this exercise, we're going to practice identifying the strength in a dealt hand. That's the first step when you play Siamese Mahjong. And if you play online, you got to make really quick decisions because you have two minutes to make that decision or the game will discard for you. That's why I like to practice. And if you have a set of tiles at home, I hope you give it a try. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do three random pulls. We'll alternate between player one with 28 tiles and player two with 27. We have a couple of jokers, east and south pairs, pair white dragons. In cracks, we have one, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, pairs of fours and eights. In dots, we have three, eight, nine. And then in bams, we have one, two, three, seven, eight, nine, pairs of threes and sevens. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I think I would play 369 and 5 through 8. Okay, so we had a lot going on here. We have a potential year hand. We have gaps, no north, no west. We could use these for the west, and these would be the year tiles. News, year hand, concealed. Maybe. We also have 369 in here, using the three primarily. But that's a pretty good representation. But as I was looking at that, I saw this hand. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Con uh, this would be the consecutive run hand. Four, five, six, seven, eight. And this would use a pair of six cracks, which could impact this hand here. We have no sixes if we use that over there. And then we could use this as joker bait. That would be one way to do it, but we have three hands going on. What I prefer to do is focus on two hands and make a decision so that I have eight discards or less. So let's see if we could do something different here to fit that framework. So this is weak because there are two gaps. Let's see, we have one, two. There is some potential for two, four, six, eight. Let's see, one, three. We might be able to play odds. One, three, five, seven, nine. And then one, three, five, seven, nine. All right, well, let's just set it up. These would have to go up here. This could come down here. That's pretty bleak. We could use these maybe for fives. There's a gap there. Still maybe play a year hand, but look at all these discards. Let's see. <laughs> wow, that's a lot of discards. 
I would not do this. Let's see, three, four, five, six, one through five, three hands, year concealed, consecutive run with one through five, one, five, seven, nine, discards. This could be joker bait, but again, we have three hands. We need two hands. So I would go back to the drawing board again. We have threes, three, four, three. No flowers. I don't think I would try for a pair hand, but we do have a lot of six through nine. So let's just take a look at that. Okay, six, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine, eight, nine. We could maybe do the eight, nine pair hand if we get flowers. Third hand down. Seven, eight, nine. We have all the eights. Okay, then down here, we could do three, four, five opposite dragons if we can get green dragons. Or we could do one, two, three opposite dragons. One, two, three opposite dragons. Three, four, five opposite dragons. We could maybe do like numbers with threes. Right here, like numbers with threes. I think what I would do here, I think, just leave those there. So I think what I would do is let the winds go. Focus on consecutive tiles. Try to use the dragons. One, three, one, two, three, or three, four, five. Consecutive run. Three, four. Eight, nine, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine. Even with all these tiles, it's very challenging. If you would do something different, let me know in the comments section below. This one was very challenging. You know what we could do is keep the east and play east and west with eights. East and west with eights. And then maybe one, three, five, seven, nine. <laughs> Keep going back and forth, I know. This one is kind of perplexing. That's not a lot. I think it's better the other way. There's a lot more flexibility. We have no flexibility here. And look at all these discards. Three sets of joker bait. I would not do that. I think I would let those go. This is how I would do it. Six through nine. Probably one through four, and I wouldn't pick a hand. I would just wait and see what develops. Discard those first. Try to use these and try to build around the multiples.
flower, north, east, south, pair of south, red dragon, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine. We're missing a seven, but we have all the cracks other than that. All singles. One, two, five, six, seven, pair of twos in bams. Three, five, six, seven in dots, pair of fives, pung of sevens. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I think I would play two, four, six, eight, and five, seven, nine. Maybe a year hand. North and south with the year. I like to keep the dragons if I'm playing winds and dragons. We have year tiles, evens, one, three, five, seven, nine. We could maybe play the very first hand if we can get three bams. One, three, five, seven, nine. We might be able to play the pair hand, pairs of ones and nines with three, five, seven in the middle. We would have to let these go though. There's also the concealed hand, but we've got gaps. We've got one, three, five, five, seven, but we're missing the nine. I would just hold them all. Let's see, one, three, five, nine, one, five, seven, we do have consecutive run right there. Five, six, seven. Some news potential for maybe the year hand or pair hand, news pair hand. One, three, five, seven, nine. Two, four, six, eight. That's pretty weak. We have this, but without a four, this is gonna be tough. And we don't have an eight bam, so we really couldn't play at this point that concealed hand. Basically, two, four, six, eight bam, but we have a gap. Maybe a year hand instead of two, four, six, eight, and then focus on odds, but keep this tile for potential consecutive run. And we could still do the odd pair hand or odd concealed hand maybe hold these over here and focus on this pair hand. Sometimes I'll put a tile upside down as plan B. So news pair hand, news year hand with one or one of these, I don't know. Probably this would have to go away because we already have two twos. Of course, we need white dragons. And then down here, either the one, three, five, seven, nine pair hand or the concealed odd hand. I would just keep them all. I think that's what I would do here. Let me know what you would do with these tiles. This was quite challenging. Joker, flower, dragons, red, white, green, pair of reds. 
In cracks, we have one, two, three, five, seven, eight, nine. Pairs of ones and fives. In dots, we have two, five, seven, eight, pair two, pair five, pung eight. And then in bams, we have one, two, four, five, nine singles. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I think I would try for one, three, five, seven, nine, and one suit, and maybe like numbers with eights. One, three, five, seven, nine, one suit using two multiples. And then down here, leveraging the pung and the pair, like numbers with eights and dragons. There's no gaps in both of these. And then use these as joker bait and discard these first. Seven, seven, eight, we have one seven there. Maybe hold the seven, the five and the seven. If we get sixes, we might be able to use this five. Maybe start here. Discard those. Hold these for plan B. Sometimes if you have a lot of discards, find a plan B especially if it would include a pair, because that's going to give you strength. Five, 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 one, three, five, seven. Okay. I just saw something else. Let's, let's rework this. There's one, three, five, seven, nine, no gaps. And then like numbers with eights, we still have joker bait and discards. Let's see. Still really the same result. Two pair that we are not going to use odds with like numbers. So probably what I would do is hold these. Joker bait. Maybe even hold these for plan B down here. Because we could do 2468 concealed if we can get a 6 bam. 2468 flower. And then 13579 or 13579. Start by discarding those. So we have a plan B for each hand. I just wonder if there could be potential for a year hand also. We've got all these twos and dragons. Let's see all these year tiles, year hand with dragons. Maybe this two, four, six, eight hand, not so much. This actually looks stronger than two, four, six, eight. I think that's what I would do instead. So hold the year tiles. Since I'm holding two, so I might as well hold those. Discard those first. This would be complex to play through. Very challenging.
There's a lot to think about, which is one reason why this game is unique and very challenging. If you haven't already tried it, I hope you give it a try. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.